Use the senses to describe activities in their surroundings and ask questions about the activities. Watch the video. When you wake up in the morning, what are the first things you see, hear, smell, touch, taste? Today's lesson will help you explore and discover the kinds of activities happening right around you. By the end, you'll be able to answer, what are the activities in my surroundings like? Let's try some examples. Activity description. A young boy gently leans forward to smell a flower. What can you see? A boy smelling a pink flower. What can you hear? Possible answer. Gentle sounds of nature, birds chirping, leaves rustling. What can you feel? The warmth of the sun on his skin. What can you smell? A sweet or fresh floral fragrance from the flower. What can you taste? No answer. The flower he's smelling is not edible. Activity Description A joyful group of children are dancing together. What can you see? Kids dancing in a group move and freeze dance. What can you hear? Upbeat, lively music. What can you feel? The vibration of music through the floor if the music is loud. What can you smell? A no answer. What can you taste? No answer. An activity is something that a person or group does or has done. Examples of activities were the ones we have described earlier. Let's try some activities. Answer the following questions. 1. What is the activity called? 2. Can you describe the activity? What can you see, hear, feel, smell, and or taste? 3. Do our senses help us describe objects and everyday activities in our community? 4. Explain why or how. This is the Public Utility Jeepney, or PUJ. This is the Barker. He is in charge of announcing the Jeepney's route. He will shout area names such as A Letre Letre or Kiapo. You may ask the Barker the travel fee for your destination. Magkano po hanggang recto? 
Malayo malapit, 20. You may now proceed to pay for your fare. If you are seated several feet away from the driver, count three places from your position. Extend the arm. Bayad po. Makikiabot lang. The passenger will then acknowledge you by getting the money and passing it two passengers ahead while saying, Bayad daw po. The specially trained driver will then dislocate his right shoulder and reach for your money. Take note, it is customary to pay in coins in the morning. Answer the following questions. 1. What is the activity called? 2. Can you describe the activity? What can you see, hear, feel, smell, and or taste? 3. Do our senses help us describe objects and everyday activities in our community? 4. Explain why or how. Yes. Tun, damu na. Tulu ada. Yeah. <laughs> Answer the following questions. 1. What is the activity called? 2. Can you describe the activity? What can you see, hear, feel, smell, and or taste? 3. Do our senses help us describe objects and everyday activities in our community? 4. Explain why or how. There is another term that means the same for describing objects and activities using the senses and the term for it is observing. Observing is a basic skill in science that when we describe the world around us using our senses, we observe our world. Science activities like experiments help us answer questions. 1. Show the list of activities performed. For each activity, ask the following. Why do we do the activity? What are questions you have about the activity that you don't know the answer to? Was it easy or difficult to describe the activities? How did science help you in describing the activities? How can science help in answering the questions you have about the activity? Lamat sa tibay na bigay mo nai. Kasambay Resistensya Nutrients. Pinag-aralan na patunayan. Dulot ng micronutrient deficiency, tuloy ang laban ng ating kabataan. Makapasok lang. Ganyan ang tibay nila. Always present. Describe the object. 1. Sight. 2. Touch. 3. Sound. 